Hi everyone, it's Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting day, or should I say this weekend, because I'm going to be going to the ASDA D11, District 11 Conference, and ASDA stands for, what does ASDA stand for? American Student, Student Dental, Dental Association. Yeah, and District 11 is all the California schools, and yeah. I guess uh, we're waiting for our friends so we can get a, a ride to the airport. Bye! I forgot to say that it is in San Francisco. Look, look, Santoria. It's a video. Where are we? I feel like a tourist. Hi everyone, it's the morning of. I hope you guys like my PJs. <laughs> this is my outfit. This is really bad lighting. Yeah. Introduce a few people to you before we get started. Um, so if Philip and Nasli could come up and join me. Okay, so thank you all. I hope you all learned uh, something valuable from this presentation. I will say. not go immediately into treatment, but that's okay. I would plow. So this was my first time at a ASDA conference, so it's, it was really exciting and I um, was really looking forward to it. There were a lot of presentations from not only students, but from special guests as well, and the food was really good too. It was very much so a social event. You can see that these are dental students from the California Dental Schools, and here's our nice group photo, and it was really good talking to them and seeing what their schools are like. We also had a lot of breakout sessions like this one where we learned more about um, like I went to the ones where I wanted to learn more about practice management and also becoming a new grad. Michael, what's the most interesting thing you've learned so far? How to keep it together when you're slowly dying inside. <laughs> and then and then Marilyn? Well basically I can eventually own my own practice and just do dentistry while corporate handles the business side of it but then it also depends on profit how much you want to make so yeah just okay. learning exploring and then what what did you guys learn most interesting thing you've learned we learned a lot of things but the meeting we just got out we learned that uh, ownership okay. is very important so uh -huh. um, own 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 don't work for a DSO <laughs> So here's the group that I went with. Um, these are all students from my school and with, we had a lot of good mix of people. I do wish I came when I was a first year student though, but I'm glad that I went anyways as a fourth year. And here's some raffle time. Of course I did not win and I forgot my ticket of course. Oh, so gorgeous. So grateful. Then that night was the boat cruise, which was highly anticipated. It was so beautiful. What a beautiful view. It was kind of small, so I did kind of get seasick. I was happy to get a break from the stress of school, which was really nice. But the next day, we had to go and go back to school. Well, me and my a few of my classmates, because we had like an aesthetic class to take. But the next day, apparently, there was um, yoga and painting. And the view right here was just so beautiful. And it was really nice to uh, hang out with my classmates and, of course, people from different grades as well. And it's such a beautiful view. I love the fireworks. I don't know if they were for us. I don't know if you can see, but um, I also had a great time because I met some students from UCSF who, um, who have followed my dental journey. So it was really nice. And also I met my friend from middle school, high school, and it was so nostalgic to get to see her. And here's a picture of us at the Golden Gate Bridge, and I'm really excited for the next conference. I'm going to the National Leadership Conference in Chicago, and it's going to be my first time in Chicago. So let me know your recommendations. Bye.